ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಮದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಮದಾತ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರಾಧಿರಿಶ್ಚ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮದೈವತ ಗುರೋ of nirvan shatakam we will chant fourth verse and fifth fourth and fifth na punyam na papam na saukyam na dukham na mantro na tirtham na ve Oh 
भगवान शंकराचार्य जी इन सिक्स वर्सेस टेल्स अस दैट हु एम आई एंड व्हाट इज दैट व्हिच इज नॉट मी दिस मेथड इज नोन एज मेथड ऑफ निगेशन एंड मेथड ऑफ एफर्मेशन first three lines negates the anatva not self and the last line says that this is the reality this is your true identity so two words are coming one is naham other is aham aham is i naham is not i now if you see the first three lines in fact talks about our empirical reality vyavaharik satya yesterday we saw that punya pap ved mantra i am not that but certainly it is reality at the empirical level i perform punya i avoid pap so it is vyavaharik satya i chant mantra i perform rituals yajnas so when i act in this world then i my identity is i am a good person i am a satvik person rajasik person where trigunas are very active and i am associated with trigunas and then i act i interact so our identity which is there in the world is is a something i am so and so but from the highest stand point shankaracharya says that is not reality that is not truth it is for the sake of only transaction for functioning it is okay i am man i am woman but from the highest stand point i am neither man or nor woman i am pure consciousness pujya gurudev used to say one is small i and other is capital i you must have heard small i and big i small i means jiva conditioned consciousness so the first three line of each verse talks about conditioned consciousness consciousness conditioned by name conditioned by form conditioned by qualities conditioned by actions conditioned by senses mind when i am conditioned by by mind if mind is disturbed i am disturbed if i am conditioned by physical body then if body is dying i am dying if body is born i am born when i am associated with senses for example when i identify or associate myself with the organ of speech then i am speaker then you are listener if you are listening <laughs> if you associate or connect yourself with the ears so consciousness plus and hundreds and thousands of things are there by which i identify and according to that my identity changes so this is empirical reality and it is also known as relative reality in relation with when i say i am so and so then that is relative reality everything is relative relative so shankaracharya says this relative reality is not absolute reality the name itself indicates that oh in this context you are so and so but if you remove that context and then you try to see who you are like they say about ramana maharshi the great saint 
I exactly I don't know who was that saint, but uh, it is said that Raman Maharshi was there, you know, who was born in Tiruvannamalai near Chennai, Chennai. And I think you must have studied the book written by him, very famous in Chinmay Mission, Upadesh Saram. Do you do you know this? Karatura kya prapyate phalam karma kim param karma tachchanam. So beautiful, thirty verses. Guruji calls it capsule of Vedanta. So Raman Maharshi was there, and one person, one devotee, you can say, or one visitor, in fact, from foreign country, from abroad, he want to meet him. So when he went there and uh, inquired about Maharshi, so people say he stays here, go and you can meet. When he met with Maharshi, so he said, okay, welcome to this ashram. What you want? He said, no, I want to discuss some points. So Maharshi says, before discussion, we should introduce each other. Hmm? Then only we can discuss. Oh, he said, yes, yes. He said, I am, a, I am Christian. I am Christian. So Maharshi said, the, you are talking about your religion. Who you are? He said, oh, that way, I am, I am doctor. He said, you are talking about your profession. I am asking who you are. Then he said, I am father of two sons. I am married and I am father of two sons. He said, you are talking about your relationship. I am asking who you are. He negated everything. Finally that person says, now tell me who I am. <laughs> so, we think that we are this much. We don't transcend these five sheets we have discussed, Annamaya, Pranamaya. We don't go beyond BMI. We don't consider ourselves an individual jiva. Normally we are at the physical level only. I am man and woman. Beyond that we don't go. But when we look at ourselves from the standpoint of, for example, jiva, then I am an individual being and again, jiva doesn't have any form. Jiva travels from one body to other, individual being. Manashrashtan indriyani prakriti sthani karshati. So, now in the next verse we will be talking about that. So, point is, this empirical reality becomes absolute reality for an ignorant person. He thinks that this is the final thing. And if we talk about Brahman and consciousness, he say, what is this? It is an imaginary thing. It doesn't exist. Who has seen that? So he negates. See, this you can appreciate only if we listen to Vedanta, then reflect upon it, then you meditate, then only you come to it. So, here Shankaracharya says that Papa Punya, it is related to body or at the most mental level. Then we have seen, I am neither bhojanam bhokta, I am not doer, enjoyer, I am not an actor. All the actions are being performed in the presence of consciousness. But consciousness doesn't have any doership. It is because of ignorance, I make that consciousness is doer. Consciousness is present and all my upadhis, all my you know, senses, mind, they are functioning. It is like electricity. Electricity doesn't move. When fan moves, electricity doesn't move. We superimpose that action on electricity, but in fact it is just present and everything starts functioning. 
In Atma Bodh, Shankaracharya is given example of sun. When sun rises, everybody starts, you know, acting, functioning. Sun doesn't, you know, tell you now you get up, you wake up. In his presence, everybody gets up. Of course, some people they still <laughs> don't get up. <laughs> but normal being, you know, this lotus, you know, open and all the farmers, they take their cattle. You know, if you see in India, this is the scene you can see. All the children, they go to school, everybody starts. Sun is present and everything is being. It doesn't have any doership. Same way, electricity and consciousness. So, there is no doership. Atma is not karta bhokta. We superimpose that action on that consciousness. Self is never born and it will never die. But the birth and death is superimposed on consciousness. And then I am born, today is my birthday, like that, you know, we celebrate. Once when um, Gurudev's birthday was being celebrated, that time Gurudev said, you all are celebrating birth of, birthday of unborn. <laughs> birthday of unborn. So here, in the verse number five, he speaks about, again, Empirical reality and he negates. Na me murutyu shanka. Na me murutyu shanka. Ignorant person say, yes, I have no doubt that I will die. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. But what here the meaning is, I have no fear of death. Shanka here means uh, fear. Actually, shanka means doubt. But in this context, Name Mrutyu Shanka. I am not afraid of death. I am deathless. Because I am birthless. Definitely I am birthless, deathless, but not worthless. <laughs> so, here is a very big, great statement. Huh? I never die. Oh, what a good news you are. You, you. Death is there when birth is there. If birth is not there, where is the talk of death? But I am not born. Yes. I will tell you, there are two, three things, or two, three experiences. We actually, we never had that, but we feel only. For example, you can never say that I am dead. If somebody asks, are you dead? You cannot reply in the affirmation way. Yes, I am. Then who is talking? Are you getting what I am saying? I am dead. Actually, nobody has experience of death. This is a great revelation. Huh? <laughs> no. No death is there. No, no, but I am seeing every time, you know, people are going. And I, I attend the funeral also. That is only body is dying. Gurudev has given one statement. Every body dies, but nobody dies. Every body, capital, everybody, B-O-D-Y, everybody dies, but nobody dies. Then nobody is consciousness. Being is not dead. Only the physical body is and same way, another question if I put your, to you, are you, are you sleeping? So yes, you can sleep. But I, have you, uh, are you sleeping if I say, yes, then you are awake? I can say I slept. But are we soeho if I ask? If you say yes, then you are awake. In the same way, are you dead? No. So what it indicates that birth and death actually 
is not there as far as me, I, our consciousness is concerned. I only infer that I will die. Looking at the death of other person's body, in fact, if you ask that person, that being is never dead. That's why na jayate mriyate va kadachit. Gita also says, Sanname Murti Shanka. Again, it is because of identification with this body, I feel that I will die. So here, this realized person has understood the true nature of that self. That's why he's fearless. Let that fear come. I am not going to die. This death cannot touch me. Nainam chindanti shastrani, nainam dahati pavaka, Gita. By weapons and by fire and by air and by water, um, I will not be destroyed. Many freedom fighters, you know, they were very brave and very courageous and they just, you know, walk towards that what, gallow, singing these verses. One freedom fighter, that Khudiram Bose, he was just going towards that gallow. And there was no sign of any fear or he was not scared. So that jailer asked, you are not afraid? It is said that he took out a small book of Gita and he said, if you read this, you will also be fearless. It is due to this, it is due to, because of this book. So, Name Mrityu Shanka. The moment identification is dropped, then the fear also will be removed. Then, Name Jati Bheda. I, I don't have any distinction of caste. Jati Bheda. Consciousness is not Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. Consciousness is not Indian, American, Asian, Chinese. It is all connected to body only, related to body only. Hmm. You cannot say ki 50, what? Brahmin consciousness is sitting. How you can say? Jati and all is again belong to body only. So that's why if we want real integration and real harmony and love in the society, we should study this Vedanta, where all kinds of distinctions are refuted. No jati, no varna, caste, creed, color. Otherwise you go to any country, some distinction is there and because of that so many disputes and fights and what not. So, no distinction. According to Vedanta, there is no difference between an ant and Brahmaji. Starting from ant, from blade of grass to Brahmaji, everything is consciousness. If you go to the core of that personality, there is no difference. All differences and distinctions are at uh, upadi level, conditioning level. See, we are sitting here about 50, 60 people. If we look at our physical body, yes, we are different. If we look at our uh, caste, different. If we look at our, uh, what you say, position, different. Gender, different. But if you remove all these and then see. Just you can say, I am an Indian, you know. Everybody is Indian. So there will be that oneness. One foreigner came to India and he said, I didn't meet any Indian. I met many people but no Indian was there. Why? Because I asked, who are you? He said, I am Gujarati. And he said, who are you? I am Maharashtrian. He said, I am Tamil. I am Telugu. <laughs> no Indian. So that vision of oneness is gone, then you know all these distinctions come. But if we remove and he observed that in India, everybody is doctor. <laughs> the observer. 
anything, you know, just say, I have headache. Okay, you take this. <laughs> and everybody is philosopher. Everybody can talk on Atma, you know, and Maya and everything. <laughs> Good observation. And he said, any time is tea time. They can drink tea at any time. Night also, day time. Chai chalegi or bilkul chalegi. So, distinctions are there. Various types of, you know, different. <laughs> Why people are... <laughs> but here it is said, at the pure consciousness level, Name jati bheda. Then, now next line is really, Pita naiva me naiva mata na janma. I don't have mother nor father. Oh, Pita mata is not there. Mother, father is not there. And I am not born na janma. Yes, if birth is there, then I need mother and father. But there is no birth, then I don't have any parents. Oh. Now see, a person doesn't have any background of Vedanta, he will be shocked to read this. I have come along with my parents and you are saying, I don't have any parents. <laughs> so, Pita, Mata, again they come into picture when I feel that I am born. Now please note it very serious point. Jiva, the individual doesn't have any father or mother. Father or mother is required for physical body. Gurudev used to say, Par these children don't belong to parents. Through parents they come. They don't belong to parents. Meaning what? Usko le jana padega bahar, I think. Uh, or you can sit there at the back. Pita naiva me naiva mata na janma. That jiva, jiva doesn't have any gender. Jiva doesn't have any form. A jiva is called man or woman according to the identification with the body. The body is of, you know, female, then that jiva is called what? Woman. If it is male, then man. And jiva doesn't have any gender, it just travels. That's why a person can become man or woman, you know. Not that permanently that person is man or woman. In our Bhagavad and all that we study, if you have studied the episode of the Jada Bharat, there was a king. He was so attached to that uh, deer, mm -hmm. obsessed with that deer. And every time he is thinking of the deer, deer, deer. If the deer goes here and there, he is worried. And he used to call, my dear deer, come here. <laughs> and at the time of death, he was thinking of the deer, deer, and then he dies. Then he is born as deer. Now that individual being remaining same, but the body is of what deer? But he remembered, you know, because in earlier life he did lot of sadhana. So result of that sadhana was he could remember. And then he said, in next birth I am not going to attach. I am not going to love anybody. <laughs> I will be just, you know, all the time immersed in Brahman only. And then the same Shiva is born at Bharat, is Bharat and his name became Jada Bharat. Jadam is what? One who is not attached to anybody. So that jiva goes. That's why Gita says, Vasansi jirnani yatha vyaya, navani grannati naroparani. How we change our clothes? Same way jiva changes the physical body. This body is like clothes. So from jiva standpoint only we can say that there is no birth and death. If from the standpoint of pure conscious, consciousness, there is no question of birth and death. There are three levels, huh? please note it. One is gross body level, deha, 
देहोभम फ्रॉम जीवा लेवल वॉट आय से आय एम एन इंडिव्हिज्युअल बीइंग जीवोहम अँड इफ यू गो डीप इन टू दॅट देन आय एम कॉन्शियसनेस आत्माहम चिदानंद रूप सो देह लेवल जीवा लेवल अँड आत्मा लेवल Harwan ji you know in one of his verses i think you must have heard it beautiful you know thoughts he has given he says when i identify myself with the body i am a servant deha drishtya tu dasoham when i consider myself as jiva then i am part of you know that parabrahma i am ansh and you are ansh you are whole and i am part like a droplet is a part of ocean and when i think myself as pure consciousness then there is no difference between me and you we are same atma drushtya tu tumeva so he knows you know there are three levels and hanuman ji it is said out hanuman ji jnani na magra ganyam ha he is the first among all you know knowledgeable people मनोज ओम मारुत तुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट वेरी शार्प बुद्धिमान ही इज नॉट ओनली पहलवान ही इज बुद्धिमान ऑल्सो अदरवाइज पीपुल फिजिकली दे आर वेरी स्ट्रांग बट अपर स्टोरी टू लेट पीपुल खाली दिमाग बट हनुमान जी ही इज वेरी क्लियर so when we identify with the body then we should become humble servant when jiva that time also servant and from the consciousness stand point there is no duality no distinction no difference jnani to atmaiva me matam gita says that there is no difference between me and that realized person guru uh, bhagwan krishna says so here what i want to say this pita mata all this come into picture when i feel that i am body but when jiva there is no such thing in bhagavatam there is one story very fascinating and you know it is like an eye opener we consider that all these relationships are solid and you know strong and it will remain forever but it is not so there was one king his name was chitraketu and he had many wives many queens but he had no son no issue so by the grace of mahatma he was blessed with one son but other wives you know they got so jealous of that particular wife so those <laughs> queen they poison you know her son and that son died now he was so you know sad now he wanted his son again to come back but it is not so easy so narad ji came there when narad ji is there anything is and everything is possible narad ji is great rishi he said i will bring so that jiva was brought you know and interesting that jiva asks where are you taking me in front of chitraketu this dialogue was happening where are you taking me no your father want you so i am taking you to your father so that jiva said father of which birth <laughs> because i had thousands of father <laughs> you are taking me to which father now when he heard this chitra ketu he understood this this relationships are not permanent and that's why guru ji says all they are called as relatives not absolutes so he had that pita nahi wo me nahi wo jiva is not actually all the time connected to this in, in this birth he is father mother friend etc but the moment that jiva leaves this body another samsara 
इन मूवी सॉन्ग यू कैन सिंग जन्म जन्म का साथ है हमारा हिंदी बट देर इज नो जन्म जन्म का साथ एवरी इंडिविजुअल बींग इज ट्रेवलिंग इन एंड इज ओन जर्नी इज सो फ्रॉम कॉन्शियसनेस स्टैंड पॉइंट देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ इन दिस पिता नहीं वो मे नहीं वो माता न जन्म but of course empirical reality it is all there and in the said that the third line na bandhur na mitram gurur naiva shishya oh na bandhur there is, i don't have any brother no friend and the final one is really gurur naiva shishya i don't have any teacher and i don't have any disciple or i am not disciple and i don't have any teacher so this uh, shishyatva being a shishya or being a teacher is again a relative reality consciousness doesn't have any guru or shishya empirical reality of course and only vedantic teacher please note it only vedantic teacher says that i am not guru you are not shishya we are pure consciousness otherwise in other cases i am teacher you have to serve me but here on teacher says we both are one hmm. but for vyavahar we have to you know see ourselves as shishya or putra or whatever otherwise somebody has heard all this and after going to house he said you are not my mother you are not my father <laughs> to all family members he started what happened in chinmay mission you know <laughs> they teach all these things <laughs> so it is only for meditation when we put this vedanta you know use in the, our empirical reality then lot of confusion comes one brahmachari you know he went to meet gurudev and gurudev just casually asked where are you nowadays he said i am everywhere <laughs> guru dev namaste hari om <laughs> so don't talk about this vedanta if you are travelling in the train in india and the tt asks what is your name don't say i am nameless formless <laughs> just are in the column you know there are many forms and kind date of birth no birth <laughs> so na bandhu na mitram guru nahi vashishya empirical stand point is all that but this is not the final thing chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham i am that your consciousness which is full of auspiciousness the only auspicious thing and good thing is me consciousness again don't imagine that consciousness is something it is me that's why all this mahavakya great statement what they say tatvamasi you are that that thou art and then this seeker also say aham brahmasmi i am that otherwise people imagine Uh, one consciousness is there then who are you one who is imagining is conscious so that's a aham word is very very you know important aham aham and in the last words here he is not negating he says aham aham who i am now see aham nirvikalpo निराकारूपम अहम निराकारूप विभुर्व्याप्यसर्वेन्द्रियाण विभुर्व्याप्यसर्वेन्द्रिया सदा मे
now he is not saying naham what is that aham aham nirvikalpa nirvikalpa vikalpa means duality vikalpa has got many meaning vikalpa means option also vikalpa means thought also so here vikalpa means duality or thought so i am devoid of duality i am free from duality i don't have any duality duality means differences are i cannot say that consciousness is of many types consciousness is one one without a second which gurudev used to say one without a second that's why the one word is given in our scripture advaita not ek but says consciousness is advait advait is non dual there is no question of duality when i say consciousness is one then there is a possibility of second third two three so to block that <laughs> see what a beautiful world is coined advait means don't think of duality it is one without a second and there is no you know distinctions among the conscious you cannot say consciousnesses in plural you cannot say 60 consciousnesses are sitting are existences existence is never you know used in plural so existence consciousness bliss it is one so if everybody everybody go deep down you know and see the core of personality who am i so everybody will experience same thing. even in deep sleep level also we all are one or not everyone has same experience as far as deep sleep is concerned but somebody said what is deep sleep other person who is an experienced person he said <laughs> deep sleep is that when discourse is on <laughs> the experience and somebody said what is discourse he said we disturb sleep <laughs> uh, so a deep sleep you know in that state everyone has same experience wa maza aa gaya it was a very you know nice good state and there was absence of everything abhav and anand abhav absence where i was i did not know how long i slept i did not know tatra mata amata bhavati pita apita bhavati there is no motherhood no fatherhood no jivahood i don't know where i was and everyone is same so if you go deep then that consciousness level also everyone says sachidan now see all the saints and sages who have realized they have declared same thing or not nobody says no 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 consciousness is not of bliss it is full of what sorrow nobody says that whether tukaram ji or shankaracharya ji or vivekanand ji or gurudev or anybody is it? who has realized the truth everybody says same so there is no difference no distinction aham nirvikal nirakar roopa oh i am nirakar roop nirakar means formless nirakar again akar belongs to physical body only you know child is born and slowly he grows so akar you know. but after some time growth stops then he grows horizontally <laughs> vertical growth is not but the form is there as long as body is there form will be there but again if you meditate and you transcend all the layers annamaya pranamaya manomaya vidyanamaya then try to see what is your form you will come to know that there is no form the life force or the existence doesn't have any form i am and try to see what is my form 
he will not get any formless colorless what is the shape of existence what is the size of existence huh? nothing is there so formless and since it is formless that's why immediately he says vibhur vyapya it is all pervading when a thing is thing is not form that it is limited but when there is no form then it is not limited in space not limited in time not limited in object have you heard this there are three types of limitation space time and object desh kal vastu any object if it has got form three limitations will be there for example this book is there it has got one form so it is here only it is not there it is now it is existing now after 100 years it won't be there hmm. and it is here only it is limited to this uh, object only this book is not in the mind mind is not in the harmonium so this is called vastu parichinna in in sanskrit so desha ka desha parichinna vastu parichinna kal parichinna everything is limited by these three things desha kal vastu and anything happens in the you know in the society suppose accident happens immediately we are where it happened where means it is conditioned by space when it happened time in the same way if some class or some lecture is happening in our flyer you have to mention what time and space and the venue from 6:30 to 8 where this certain so in this world you cannot talk without using space and time even one sentence you cannot utter if somebody says i am going where uh, object and space and time einsteinian gurudev used to say world of space and time always in his talks he was ever so when there is a form space and time has to be there but this consciousness doesn't have any form it is formless so it is spaceless timeless all pervading that's why it is said in upanishad sadeva soumya idam agrasi uh, that consciousness was there and nanyat kinchana vishad nothing was there even time also was not there so i will always i say one statement there was a time when there was no time only conscious maya kalpita desha kal kalana vaichitra chitri kritam in dakshinamurti stotra shankaracharya says bijasyantari vankurau jagadidam pran nirvikalpam puna maya kalpita desha kal kalana vaichitra chitri kritam maya viva vijrumbayatyapi mahayo ट्री or like a juggler maya viva how he creates same way this paramatma god so he, space and time belong to this world but consciousness doesn't belong to this world it is beyond this world so vibhuru vyapya sarvatra sarvendriya you can say when we say spaceless timeless one way of looking at consciousness is there is no presence of space and time in consciousness other way you can say in every space it is there and every time it is there 
in all space, in all objects, at all time it is there. That's why in Hindi they say, Kan Kan Me Bhagwan, when we say, what is the meaning? It is all pervading. Either you say spaceless or you say all pervading. Hmm. It is always present. Trikale Pitishtadi Iti Sat. Sat is that, existence is that, which is present in all three periods of time. So, not limited in time. There is no expiry date of consciousness. Body has got that. And it is good that we don't know that. Only Brahmaji can read that expiry date. You know. It is written somewhere here. <laughs> like how that medicine has got expiry date. So, Vibhur Vyapya, all pervading, pervade, it is pervaded in space, pervaded in time. And Sarvatra Sarvendriyana. This consciousness is pervaded in all sense organs. Meaning what? Sense organs cannot function without it. So it has to be there. That's why one name of this consciousness is, you know, Rushikesh. Rushikesh is the name of Bhagavan Krishna. So, Lord Krishna is sitting here as inner controller. Rushikanam Isha. Rushik means senses. Who is the Lord of all senses? Master of all the senses. Hmm. Like electricity can be called as what? Master of all the equipments. In Kenopanishad, the description is given Srotrasya Srotram. Consciousness is Ear of ear. <laughs> Same way, about electricity we can say, electricity is bulb of bulb. <laughs> Bulbas se bulb. <laughs> Meaning what? Because of which bulb is functioning. Maika se maika. <laughs> srotra se srotra. So, sarvatra sarvendriyana. Senses are the equipment, instruments, they are the tools. But the power behind them is of this consciousness. And Sadame Samatvam Na Muktir Na Bandha Sadame Samatvam Always, always, Sada. I am same. There is no, you know, fluctuation in consciousness. No variation, no changes. I am changeless entity. Sadame Samatva. From consciousness standpoint, it is true. But from the standpoint of mind and intellect and body, continuous what changes are happening. Samatva, my true nature is Sam. That's why Bhagavad Gita again and again says, practice Samatva, Samatva, because your true nature is uh, equanimity. So, if I want to appreciate my highest nature, at a vyavaharic level also I should maintain that. Then only I am able to understand that samatva. So, the nature of Atma is some. Whether that person is, you know, wicked person, a sinner or a sadhu, consciousness is same. That's why it is said, that Kshripram uh, Bhavati Dharamatma Apichet Sudurachara Bhajate Mamananyamak. If there is a person who is Sudurachara, Durachara means a wicked person. Sudurachara means good, good wicked person. <laughs> good wicked person means most wicked. Papi Shiromani. <laughs> If he also decides that let me see who I am, he will come to know that I am pure consciousness. So always there is a possibility of you know, evolving and uh, understanding true nature for everyone. It is possible for each and every person because the inherent nature is that only. So, samatvam, sadame samatvam, na muktir na bandha, there is no freedom nor bondage. 
ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ but since you have got ignorance that's why you feel that you are bound but you are always liberated sada na muktir na bandha since we feel bondage bondage that's why they say if you study if you meditate if you contemplate you will be liberated again it is a relative statement you were never bound so where is the question of liberation it is like again example of dream you know if in dream you are put into jail prison and the punishment is for 10 years and you are seeing in that dream that 5 years have gone still i have to stay here for 5 years and suddenly you got up then what you will say oh i was put into jail now i am liberated are when you were seeing that time also you are not you were not in the jail you were lying on your cot only <laughs> you were in the bed it was an illusion only hmm. so same way this is very high what you say highest statement there is no bondage in reality that's why there is no liberation in reality if you feel so then they say oh you will be liberated so it is a relative statement na muktir na bandha have you seen upanishad ganga that serial in that there was one episode and it was shown the same thought has been shown in that uh, that one person has got you know many donkeys donkey he is a pot maker and he has got many you know, and he used to tie uh, that with the ropes different donkey and one day there was a shortage of rope he has got only one piece of rope now how to tie that down but i think he has studied this vedanta so what he did he put that small piece of rope around his neck and just he pretended as though he is tying the donkey uh, with that uh, what to say peg or something and what a miracle that donkey sat down donkey thought that now i am bound tied and morning time he made everyone awake get up get up but this was not getting up <laughs> why he thinks that he is tied down first he should untie it so that potter you know understood so again he pretended as though he is you know and time and again wonder that donkey got up story ends here only <laughs> now in place of donkey <laughs> i am not saying <laughs> so, this is our story only <laughs> sanna muktir na bandha chidananda roopa shivo it is very very elevating and uplifting this all six verses so here we conclude hmm. this is the last line namuktirna vanda chidananda roopa shivamsha so at the seat of meditation if you sit and listen to this verse definitely we can evolve we can you know transcend and at least as long as we are listening we will be in a different world and it is said every day in the morning we should think of our high higher nature even lord krishna also used to do that if you read bhagavatam the schedule of bhagwan is given and he said in brahma murti he used to think of his highest nature and uh, shankaracharya also has written one uh, stotra prakirna stotra ಪ್ರಾತಸ್ಮರಾಮಿರುದಿ ಸಂಸ್ಫುರದಾತ್ಮತತ್ವ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ಸುಖಂ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಗತಿ ತುರೀಯ ಯಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಜಾಗರ ಸುಷುಪ್ತ ಮೇತಿ ನಿತ್ಯ 
तब्रह्म निष्कलम न च भूत संग सेम थी एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग आई मेडिटेट अपॉन माय सेल्फ एंड प्लीज नोटेड इट इज नॉट सेल्फ हिप्नोसिस इट इज द ट्रूथ सम पीपल से यू आर हिप्नोटाइजिंग यूर सेल्फ Ah, hypnosis is temporary, and it cannot transform the life of you know that person as well as uh, life of other people. This is the truth. This is the statement of fact, not the hypnosis. So every day we should chant this. Okay. Now you can sit, close your eyes. I will just chant and.
Last four days, two years ago, we are talking. And uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for deviating from the tradition. And uh, I want to make a few comments on the discourse you have given. And the, the deviation is that I have not taken your prior permission on to talk about that.
uh, for today. Uh, before we disperse, we will have Guru Dakshina for the morning talks. Uh, Swamiji will be uh, giving Prasad booklets. Kindly come forward and please line up on, on, the, uh, on the side. Uh, please offer the Guru Dakshina in the uh, box and collect one Prasad booklet per family. Happy birthday.
लगता शी अटेंड्स माय क्लास अच्छा तो बेच गया
Thank you. 